Today I have an overview of color profiles, four different color profiles uh, using Adobe Illustrator to show how these differ. Color profiles are just a way of standardizing color across applications and media. And there are four types I work with most often. Um, the first one is CMYK used in printing. And these, the four inks used in typical four color process are cyan, magenta, yellow, and black. So that's what these four color swatches represent. And there are some other spot colors that are used on certain presses to add like a fifth and sixth ink, but these are the four main ones used in typical four color process. And when you design something for print, you should use swatches that have these four that have these four color breaks. So you might have a swatch that's that's green or something and for example that swatch will be like 50 yellow 20 cyan will make up this swatch. So if I apply that, or even if I apply one that's dar a darker green, then that's how that swatch, that's the breakdown of that swatch. That's the color breakdown. And when the final piece is printed, those colors will be broken down into these components. So that's what the press will understand. So then if we go to PMS, I just put these colors. PMS is a Pantone color matching system. It's uh, different swatches that have been created using their process. So all the uh, Pantone color ink colors that you see loaded here are their, their tones. And there are other types of swatch systems. True Match is one, Toyo Ink is another, but this is the industry standard. This is what people, this is what is most commonly used. So for example, if I pick a PMS green, typically when you use PMS in printing, you're just using one to two, maybe three at the most P tip, uh, specific PMS color swatches, and you'll need to call them out You'll need to use them in your file and you'll need to call them out when you do your, when you submit your file. So here's a green, here's a lighter green. But adding specific PMS colors will typically add cost to the printing. So this would be common if it's a brand color, for example, that needs to carry across, carry across media, then you'll need to have these colors called out. There'll be a, a green, a specific green in CMYK, a specific green in PMS, RGB, and HEX. HEX is web, is for web. When you're doing web pages, you call out specific HEX colors. So for example, this PMS green, if I can, if I convert it to CMYK, that's the color breakdown. It's 61 cyan, 95 yellow. RGB is for on-screen applications, so if I'm doing something for a digital, for example, um, a social media campaign or a, spe a specific social media art file, I would use RGB. So let's go back to this, this specific green. If I convert it to RGB, it will be 106 red. 100, almost 200 green, 191 green, 75 blue. So, and this RGB is a is an is for on-screen applications. It's an additive process. So you're adding, you're mixing the RGB color values together to get this green. Hex is actually a, is a conversion of an RGB color value. So you can see that this RGB color value 106.91.75 is this this code and this code is widely used in web applications you'll just use this as a call out in the html code and it will understand 
when I, when I pull up my web page, it'll understand that's the color, that's the green color value. So if you have a green, a branded green in your, well, if you have a green color, a branded green color that will need to come across similarly in all color profiles so that it's accurately represented in your brand across all social media, across all campaigns, across all print media, across um, web pages, etc. And this PM, and it would also even be used in this PMS color value if you're printing like an all green something or a brochure or something that has a specific PMS color value that you want to remain really consistent across all print pieces. You may even print in a specific PMS color value. So that's my overview of color profiles, the four most commonly used color profiles in print, web, on screen, etc. And um, I hope this gives a, you a good overview of, of why you would use these different color values and a little bit about how you would convert these color values in, in Adobe Illustrator. Please subscribe to my channel if you are learning something and like this video, give me a thumbs up, comment. I would love to hear from you. Thank you for watching.